Hey everybody, it's Rick Jansen, and I've got a special guest on my show today, Jamal Gabriel. Uh, Jamal Gabriel and I met on HGTV about, what was that, 10 years ago? 10, 12 years ago, yeah. Yeah, so I had answered an ad to remodel my basement. My wife keeps telling me, like, why didn't you do the one where they remodeled it for you in three days? <laughs> but no, I replied to this show where you had to do it yourself in seven weeks. And Jamal was my lifeline. So yes. if I had a contractor issue, if I didn't know how to redo my duct work, if I, if I wanted to know if something was load bearing, bring, bring, I got to call Jamal. <laughs> so Jamal, I'm calling you now. What's going on, my friend? <laughs> hey, oh, well, it, it, it's been a couple of years since I swung a hammer, but uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was an entertaining experience, wasn't it? HGTV. Um, uh, yeah, that was awesome. And then you were on HGTV for a number of years, weren't you? Yeah, I did uh, two seasons on that show and I did another show and then just a handful of like cool tools and Dominator and they wanted me to move to California, uh, had young kids in school at the time, couldn't do it. So stayed here and instead uh, eventually got my real estate license and been doing this now for about four years. Four years. And how many how many homes a year are you selling right now? Every year better than the year before. This year we're uh, we're topping over the 20 mark. Uh, next year we're aiming high. We know for a fact we're going to be hitting over 50. That's fantastic. And you've got an exciting addition to your team this year, right? Yes. Like I said uh, before, I couldn't move out because I had uh, young children. Well, the oldest of those young children is now a licensed real estate agent, and she just joined the Gabriel team. Fantastic. Yeah. So <clears throat> the exciting news that I wanted to share with everybody on this one, uh, just cutting right to the chase, is you recently, you've been, you've been with two franchises yep. and you just switched firms. Tell us about why. Um, you know, it's funny because I was uh, habitually unrecruitable. Um, and then when you called me up and asked me a couple questions, I did not think I would ever say yes to it. Um, I was very happy where I was. Uh, but once I saw the model and once I got to see what a virtual brokerage is really about, what EXP is all about, it, it was a no brainer. It was absolutely a no brainer. So let's talk about being happy because a lot of agents that I speak to are like, hey, I'm happy where I am. Right. It's comfortable. Yep. It's not broken. Why should I go and break it? Uh, That's you know, pretty much where you were when I called you up. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, and honestly, I, I, I did you the service of watching uh, and listening to you um, just because we have a relationship. So I'm, I'm so grateful that you reached out. Uh, the family is so grateful that you reached out and uh, cued us into this. Because like you said, we were happy. We were complacent exactly where we were. Uh, we were doing our 20 a year, you know, we're hitting the cap, you know, we're getting a couple transactions over the cap. So we're doing good, we're making a good living, um, but it's unsustainable. And if anything goes wrong in that scenario, um, you know, what happens? If, if the market takes a dip or takes a turn, if you're not really prepared, um, we also just didn't feel like we ever really got the tools. So like I said, I'm basically four years into this and within the four years, um, no one's ever really taken the time to really teach us how to do, um, you know, high level production. And at EXP, it was basically an open tool shed. What do you want to learn how to do? We will teach you all of it. So we are, we have dived in, we are learning everything. Um, and the writing's on the wall. The production is going to just absolutely skyrocket for us. That's fantastic. So yeah, we, I mean, cause it, here we are at the time of this recording, it's Q4. Uh -huh. right? And I think our initial conversation was, hey, how are you teed up to survive the traditionally slow months of December, January, February, right? Right. And I said, hey, I've got, I've got some reserves. I don't necessarily want to eat my reserves. Right. But, you know, but production is what production is. And did you have any ownership in either franchise that you were a part of? <laughs> um, you know, I had a uh, I had a key card so I could get into the, the building anytime. <laughs> um, I had a filing cabinet. Yeah. Um, but you're, basic, you're basically kind of renting a desk, right? 100% renting a desk, um, yeah. you know, and once you move on, you've moved on and they, they don't miss you. Um, you know, it just, and, and that's just the paradigm of most brokerages is they're just looking for you to hit the cap. So if, as long as you're hitting the cap, they're happy with you. You know, maybe you get a cute little plaque. I got a really nice plaque, a couple really nice little stickers that go on that plaque and, <laughs> um, you know, top producer, blah, 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 kind of stuff. So uh, that's all I got from the other brokerage. Yeah, but you can't eat a plaque. No, um, you know, the, the mortgage cannot be paid with a plaque or any of the cute little stickers that go on it. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little, like, what about the EXP model specifically? Because you started off, you just watched like a nine minute video. Right. And you watched a 30 minute video. Then we talked a little bit. 
what got your mind racing like out of that complacency that comfort what did you see that like just kind of woke things up a little bit you know i think a lot of people are going to struggle to believe uh the end game that is the exp end game um but right off the bat you know there was a lower cap lower monthly lower this lower that so the you know the immediate call you know when you were talking about you know your reserves eating into your reserves um, you know, my monthly bills uh, with my current brokerage cut dramatically. So, you know, just that alone, then the training and everything else that would help us as a team, that was all wonderful. So even if it was just a lateral move from one brokerage to the next, we were instantly going to save, you know, we did the math, we were going to save about 15 grand a year. Wow. Uh, yeah, just, just making a lateral move. Um, then when we start learning about, you know, revenue sharing, uh, stock options, the ability to really build a portfolio and have other agents and the idea that the company itself is obsessed with the success of each agent because that's the strength of the company. So yeah. now not just, hey, hit your cap and we're happy with you, but uh, hey, look at all these other ways that you can actually make residual income. Um, so to, to my brain, immediately, I was like, there, there's no way this is true, but if it's just a lateral move, we're still doing great. If it's a lateral move with better training, better tools, even better. Now it's a lateral move with all those things and revenue share, stock options, and all the other ways that you can look at it. Um, you know, we have weekly call. I mean, almost every day I can be on a, on a Zoom call with, you know, national coaches, uh, top producing agents who have all seen the writing on the wall and come to eXp. I was just on one with Sean this morning. Um, you know, the, the, the information that you can get that is just free and available and encouraged um, there's a whole EXP world with an EXP university with over 40 hours of training every single week. And if you can't make the live versions of it, they've got it in the cloud and you can just show up and learn. Um, everything about EXP and it being a virtual brokerage as well, it's not the traditional brick and mortar. Uh, I've got access to offices all, all over these Regis offices, which are suave and bougie. Um, you know, you can show up anytime and it just comes with your EXP, uh, brokerage, you know, hanging your license there. So, um, it, it is ridiculous and it just sounded too good to be true. And I did you the service cause I know you, <laughs> so I, I watched the first video. I was like, okay, wait a minute. If this is real, I'll watch the 30 minute video. And then I was blown away. And then I started watching and listening to some of the podcasts with Tim and Julie, who are part of the team as well. Um, you, you know, it. It was absolutely a no-brainer. So if a tenth of what is said is true, <laughs> it is a no-brainer. But it's all true. So I mean, you just do yourself a service, hang your license. It's it's it sells itself. That's awesome. And what, what's what's fun for me is I mean, you've been here a couple of weeks. Yeah. And the amount of our culture that you've absorbed so quickly. Uh, to be able to just, you know, to go through a list benefit like that, I was like, wow, well, I'm taking notes, right? <laughs> like you, you've been drinking through a fire hose, but somehow you've like, you've swallowed it all. I mean, that's like, you're, you're processing it. You're, you get, you're getting in there, you're getting dirty. Um, yeah. And you're just, you must be, t you know, you and, and your wife and your daughter must be just taking copious notes and game planning. Like that roadmap that you have for 2021, tell us a little bit about that. Cause that, that just got a huge smile on my face the last time you were sharing that with me. You know, and, and you're absolutely right. We've been drinking through the fire hose. Um, it's the amount of information uh, is overwhelming to say the least. The first week of onboarding was so much information. You know, uh, both other times I've onboarded with another brokerage, you got, you know, some little folder and, you know, yeah, whatever. They did, didn't, didn't tell you anything about how to become a successful agent. Um, so I would say for a newer agent coming on that is really looking for the tools and how do I become successful? Uh, incredible opportunity um, at a lower commission dollar amount per month, et cetera, is sincerely a no-brainer. So with all that said, when we look at 2021 and we form the Gabriel team now, um, and we've got these high, high goals. Uh, I'm I've got a great coach. Uh, I'm on the phone with my coach all the time. She's setting me up with, I've got a more professional listing, pre-listing packet. Um, we're going after for sale by owners. We're going after expires. We're going after all of it. And for the first time, I feel confident to go after it, um, you know, with all the tools versus just, you know, I'm a likable guy. So I'm told, except by my kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, for, to lead with more than personality is, is a wonderful thing to lead with the tools and the personality. Um, 
it just gives you an inner confidence uh, to close deals and to, to have people really rely on you as that agent. And that's why I got into this is I, I really love working with people um, and I never want to drop the ball on anyone. And now, you know, the number, oh, and on top of that, everything that you do is reviewed by somebody else um, all the way through. You get free sky slope. It's the benefits are just ridiculous. Yeah, it, it, the, the compliance angle alone from being a former independent broker, yeah. Yeah. like just knowing that my state broker is reviewing all the documents, making sure it's buttoned up and filed. And if I'm ever audited, it's right there, yeah. right? <clears throat> easy yep. for easy. No, it's just cake, right? Yeah. So all that non-dollar producing activity is offloaded to somebody else. And I can focus on taking care of other people, which is fantastic. Yes. Absolutely. And, and you know what, um, part, part of the one of the things that we're really excited about, my wife is over here making squeezy pages and landing pages and we're posting on social media and we're just getting organic leads popping up right there. And we're finding out new ways to create more lead gen. So, you know, in this business, every agent, we're looking for leads. How do I get more? How do I get more? How do I get more? Um, so we're getting more and all of that is free. We, we haven't even started boosting any of it yet. So as soon as oh, started, now you're talking through your KV core website, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, this amazing CRM, KV Core, which has, I think we've watched about 40 hours of videos um, on how to really optimize KV Core and generate leads for yourself at zero dollars, other than the $85 a month. Yeah. Are you kidding me? 85 bucks a month for an incredible CRM that creates leads for me. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer. Right, right. Everybody's looking to get more leads and they're like, well, yeah. if I just had a better system, better mentoring, better teaching, because you can have all the resources in the, in the world. But right. if you don't have that 40 hours of training to get you schooled up on it, I mean, you can yeah. get, you can get, you can get started with KV Core with an hour of training, right? Oh, but to absolutely. really maximize it, it's such a deep tool. And that's, that's the whole side of it, you know, so I was able to get up to speed, no time flat, imported all my leads. They did it for me free, um, took what, day and a half? Yeah. Uh, we had 800, 900 leads that they imported for us. Um, and then we've just been cranking through them and reintroducing ourselves and letting everybody know what's going on. Uh, but KV Core is doing all that. And like I said, it took me you know, a couple hours to get up to speed. My wife is delving in deeper. Thank God we have a team. And uh, the brain of the team is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she does all the, the real lifting, heavy lifting in the background for me. And I get to do some fun stuff like this to yeah. chat. <laughs> <laughs> now, the part of you talked you talked about revenue share, and of course, part of yeah. uh, part you know, I'd say, I, I don't know if I were just kind of to guess, I'd say eighty mm percent -hmm. of the agents that join EXP do so just because it's a better firm, better training, better brokerage, more profitable, and they have no interest in recruiting whatsoever, right? No, no interest in revenue share, agent attraction. It's just such a foreign concept that right. nobody is taught. But you came in as one of the, and again, I'm just this, my own scientific wild ass guess number, one of right. the 20% that is thinking like, wow, I could build a passive revenue and I could attract agents. Tell us a little bit about your mentality there. Cause so like, how do you shift to like, Hey, I want to share this with people. Yeah. You know, and I think to me, and like I said before, I was unrecruitable, right? Um, and the reason why I was un unrecruitable was because I was really complacent at my desk that I was renting and it, it felt like a fit. It was not scary. Um, you know, I figured out real estate enough to be successful enough to, you know, pay all my bills and, um, take care of my family. Yeah. Um, you know, beyond that though, what are you going to do in five years, 10 years, 20 years? And they talk about all the time, you know, nobody ever goes to a retirement party for realtors. Um, I would like to retire at some point. <laughs> So, you, you know, when, when you start looking at that and you start talking about revenue share and what does that actually mean? So if a good friend like Rick calls you up and is, you know, uh, um, what do you say, a colleague or another realtor that you respect within the industry and they call you up and say, hey, listen, I've got something for you. Um, just give it a watch, give it a listen. And if giving it a watch and giving it a listen is enough to incentivize you to move forward, um, delve deeper, and you can delve deeper and there's tons of videos, there's tons of material you can learn before you make the leap, which is what we did. I'm very calculated in everything I do. But in that calculated process of starting to find out what does it mean to attract another agent under you? Um, and how does that revenue share start to happen and multiply and multiply and multiply? And the Zoom call that I was on with Sean this morning starts talking about, you know, in a three year period, um, you know, at five agents, you know, blah, 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 blah. When you start doing the math, you could legit get enough passive income to retire in three to five years if you did agent attraction. Now, right. if you just want to be, be an agent and do your selling, you can do that as well. 
Um, but on the side, we meet other agents constantly and other agents are in bad situations. Other agents are renting desks. Um, so if you can share the information and the information sells itself, uh, you know, I, I'm more interested in selling real estate, but while I'm doing that, wouldn't it be wonderful to free other people from that desk that they're renting? Yeah. You know, and, and your heart, you're one of the, one of the reasons I'm so glad I talked to you is because you do have that heart to help people. And I know that when you're reaching out to, uh, to tell someone about eXp, you're doing so not with a selfish motive. Yeah. You want to retire, but you're actually doing so to give somebody else freedom, right? You're reaching yeah. out, you're picking up the phone, like saying, Hey, I want to offer you some freedom. I want right. to, I want to break you free from your desk. I want to break you free from transactional income. Exactly. I want to give you an opportunity that you can have more freedom and more money. Because yes. in, in traditional real estate, correct me if I'm wrong, but like to have more freedom, you have to work more. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So yeah. how do you get more freedom and more finances? I think EXP is the only only model out there that does that. First one I've ever heard of. I've heard of a few other that claim to do type of revenue sharing, um, but that's a traditional brick and mortar and they've got to pay their managing broker, assistant broker, the TCs, the in-house this, the printers, the copiers, the yada, yada, yada. So when you get down to the bottom, the revenue share is really minimal. Right. Uh, EXP has a model of sharing 50%. Right off the uh, top. Right off the top. Yeah. 50%. How, who can compete with that? <laughs> <laughs> no that's one. A beautiful thing. Which I was reading. Right. I was reading. I was reading an article that today was reviewing our stock, right? And their stock right. has just been yeah. exploding. And yeah. you know, as we now go into France and Portugal, India, South Africa, Mexico, we're already in Australia, UK, and Canada. And as we launch our commercial division, as we launch our REO division, we launch our relocation division, our in-house TC platform and portal. Yes. This this guy was like, "Well, I think a nine percent growth next year is optimistic." I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> <laughs> Did we do last year 136? Yeah, 136% growth. I mean, like, I think we're going to grow by 9% in January, dude. Like, you don't understand our model. <laughs> like, when you incentivize agents with ownership, yes, we're entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. You think with commas, we think about growing in a rapid way. And someone who doesn't understand that about EXPI's culture uh, and the fact that we are agent obsessed and the fact that we do truly care about everybody else, like, Sean makes not a dime on you, right? Right. You're not you're not related in any way, shape, or form on the revenue share tree. But Sean's going to take a call from you. Sean's going to help you. Sean's going to explain EXP to your people, close yes. them under you, and no personal benefit whatsoever. Absolutely. I, I invited a, an agent to uh, Sean's call today, as a matter of fact. So, uh, and and Sean just does that. And so, and then I got a link to the video. Um, got a printout, a worksheet that will help you figure out, is this truly a fit for you? I mean, when you break down, what does your brokerage do for you? And the greatest question to ask is, what does your brokerage pay you? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. You pay your brokerage. I mean, we, we were paying over 20 grand a year, 25, yeah. 25 a year. Uh, we've cut, I think, 12 off of that right away. Um, well, and, 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 you know, and, when you're, and when you look at this too, like you were <clears throat> going back to this, you were comfortable, you were happy. Yeah. When you're happy where you're working, is it safe to say that you're not exploring other options? Unrecruitable. <laughs> right? You're not, you're not out there actively every week seeing as somebody else built a better mousetrap. Is there right. a more profitable place? Is someone else, did they create a virtual learning environment where I can have over 50 hours a week of live education? Did they create a place where I can have ownership? Did they create a place where I can generate money for months when I'm not closing a transaction? I can still have money coming in from all over the world. Like, you, when you're happy at a franchise, you're not thinking like that, are you? You, you wouldn't think about that at all. I never huh. did. I, I was just thinking about, you know, how do I grind and grind and grind, um, you know, and get the hustle on. Now, I still, I'm a, I'm a natural hustler, so I'm going to continue doing that. But in the, in the process, and it, you know how it is, as real estate agents, we're all about having conversations. So we're having conversations constantly. And now some of those conversations with other agents turn into this. And to, it feels like a gift. Like it legit feels like a gift. And I, and I know uh, I've probably texted you what, five, six times just to say thank you. <laughs> just to say thank you instead of, damn it, Rick, why did you dupe me into this? <laughs> you know, and, and so to get other people getting that feeling of thank you, you know, I actually see a course that 
will change my life, can actually change my life. Um, it, it's truly a gift. So I, I can't say anything bad about it. I used to, I used to throw uh, back back before I met you. I used to throw these thousand person Halloween parties, thousand person New Year's Eve parties. Take people to Lake Powell, thirty you know thirty people on two boats, right? And I loved being blamed for a good time, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? right. So like to invite people to a good time, to invite to people to a party where they might meet their wife or their husband, where they might you know change their lives, change their destiny. Like it was so much fun and. Yeah. I found that excitement again. You know, as an independent broker for 16 years, I could invite people to my firm. That was one thing. But now to, to invite them to a potentially life-changing event, right? right. Like yeah. this will definitely be where I hang my license for the rest of my career. Oh, without a doubt. I, I, have, a, I have a feeling that's going to be the same for you. Without a doubt. It's international <laughs> as well. So, yeah. you know, my wife's from South Africa. So we, we are now exploring uh, recruiting people in South Africa. Uh, I've got an investor out of India that I just actually just uh, sent him an email. So, you know, we're, we're looking to turn people on around the world to this idea as well. Um, and all of that helps everyone. So, you know, 2020 has shown us one thing that division uh, amongst people does not help. So let's bring people together. Let's try to help each other. And that's what this is, is I can directly help somebody. I'm not going to get them to pay me to help them I'm, you're going to continue to do what you do and as a residual impact uh you know revenue share all around yeah and the revenue share comes out of the corporate split that they'd be paying anyway exactly right? and so our corporate split is less but we yep. pay the agents who help build the firm and i love the financial incentive alignment right so the beautiful thing is you have seven people above you yep. who have a, a direct financial incentive in seeing you sell a house yeah and yes. seeing you succeed. And then you have 38,000 other agents that are just willing to help you anyway. Right. <laughs> right. And nonstop training and education and EXP world. Uh, we are having a blast. We are absolutely having a blast. The first week was overwhelming. After that, we're having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest. That's honest. Yeah. Like, well, if people want to get a hold of you, if they want to learn more about like your experience, uh, or if they want, they're like, Hey, I want Jamal as my sponsor. He sounds just like an amazing guy. And he is, I can definitely endorse him on that. How do they yeah. reach you? Uh, easiest way. Uh, I text quite a bit. So my cell would be 720-937-8361. Other than that, feel free to shoot me an email at the Gabriel team, LLC at gmail.com. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm the one truly who feels blessed that you joined our team. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the changes that go on in your life and the, and the lives we impact in other countries all around the States. Uh, I think we're just gonna have a blast together, my man. You know what, Rick? I, I, I've said thank you so many times and I will just continue to say it. I, I am so grateful. I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity and you know, the family, we all say thanks. Uh, and I would love to help anybody. You know, if you just want to call and ask me questions, I'm more than happy, you know, open book about my life, my practice my my real estate business um and i'm just looking to help other people out yeah cool well i think we're, before we turn into chip and dale where we're saying thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. I'm, gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sign off thank you everybody who's watching who's listening um you can always reach me too my cell phone is 303-589-2320 that's in the comments below uh or splashed across however and i end up editing this but um <laughs> Take care, everybody. God bless. Thanks, Rick. I do my due diligence and I want to just make sure that I don't make stupid mistakes. So um, I couldn't believe EXP for the longest time. <laughs> it was four or five days of us just trying to find uh, the chink in the armor. No chink in the armor. Nice. Yeah.